Question number four. We have more fractions, but it's okay. Even though in this case where we have adding, dividing, subtracting, and multiplying, and also parentheses, everything's right there. It's okay. We're going to take this question step by step, and let's see the procedure on how to solve this calculation. Let me first copy down the question. One half plus parentheses, two third divide by three over four parentheses minus parentheses. 4 over 5 times 5 over 6 parentheses. The key here is make sure that you do the parentheses first. So inside the first parentheses, uh, let me just write this down on the side. I need to work out 2 over 3 divided by 3 over 4. So let me do that right here. 2 over 3 divided by 3 over 4. So to divide, to divide fractions, first you keep the, the, the first fraction the same. 2 over 3 stays the same. And then we are going to change the division to a multiplication. We right? take the division and then change that to multiplication. And then change the second fraction, flip it upside down. So take the 4, bring it up, and take the 3, and bring it down. And it's going to look like 4 over 3. That's what I mean by upside down. You flip the fraction. Alright. And to multiply fractions, you, you should first check to see if you can cross cancel. So look at a number on the top and the number on the bottom. Can we reduce 2 over 3? No. We cannot find a number that goes into 2 or 3 and, and 3 together. And then you can look at 2 and 3. If you just look at 2 and 3. Can you reduce 2 and 3? Same situation. No. Alright, so work with 4 and 3. Again, we cannot reduce that. If you look at 4 and this 3, again, we cannot reduce that. So you should check to see if you can cross cancel first. In this case, too bad, we cannot. But it's okay. We are just going to then multiply the top and top. 2 times 4 is 8 over 3 times 3 is 9. So this is will be the result that goes into the first parentheses. So let me continue. The 1 half, I haven't touched it yet, so I'll just bring it down. Likewise for the plus. This turns out to be 8 over 9. 8 over 9. And then I have to subtract. And then I'm going to figure out the second parentheses right now. This is my second parentheses. I will do that right here. So for the second parentheses, I have 4 over 5 times 5 over 6. What's the first step when you multiply fractions? Cross cancel. You don't cross multiply, you just want to uh, look at a number on the top and a number on the bottom to see if you can reduce the fraction. So you can check 4 and 5. Well. We cannot, redu we cannot reduce 4 and 5, right? But if you look at 4 and 6, 2 goes into 4, and 2 also goes into 6, right? So we can reduce these two numbers first. 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into 3. Sorry, that's the answer. 2 goes into 6 three times. Alright, and now we are looking at 5, and notice 5 goes into 5 once, and 5 goes into 5 once. They cancel out right away. That way, when you multiply, we can just do 2 times 1, which is 2 on the top. Well, after, you, after you finish reducing them, multiply the top and top, so you get 2 on the top. And then the bottom, you have 1 and 3. 1 times 3, of course, that's equal to 3. So the result of this multiplication here is just 2 thirds. 2 over 3. Alright, so now we are going to look at uh, something that's more complicated, which is we have to add and also subtract the fractions. So notice the 2, 9, and 3. We are going to make sure that um, how we are going to make them the same first. Make the denominator the same first. So I will make a note right here. The lowest common multiple of the denominators 
we're just going to pay attention to 2, 9, and 3. Lowest common multiple of the denominators. Um, yeah, let me just show you like how to find that. So, the purpose for me to write the end right there is to emphasize that we are looking at the multiples of the denominators. So let me write it down. The multiples of 2 okay, are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and so on. And the reason that it's multiple, as you can see that this is 2 times 1. This is 2 times 2. The third one is 2 times 3, which is 6, and so on. It's like a times table. Okay? So we'll do the same. I just want to show you what's the concept of the multiples and the common multiples of these numbers. And again, this may not be the most efficient way to do the uh, lowest common multiple of the denominators, but I just want to show you the concepts. So for the multiples of 9, you start off with 9, that's like 9 times 1. Next one will be 9 times 2, which is 18. And then the third one, which is 9 times 3, which is 27. The fourth one, 9 times 4, which is 36. And so on. Notice that how I saw the 18, they are in common already. So that's why I kind of just, I know this may be enough already. All right. Multiples of the third denominator, 3. Start with 3. Next one, 6, because 3 times 2 is 6. And then 3 times 3 is 9. And then you got 12, 15, 18, and I think 21, and 24, dot, dot, dot. It keeps on going forever. But pay attention to the 18, because that's the one that they all have. And that's what it means by the common multiple of the denominator of these three numbers. And in fact, it's also the least, because that's the smallest possible way that you can make this happen. Even though 36 will also work, but we want the least, okay? And again, you can check my other videos later on. Uh, I have uh, more uh, practice questions, more workout examples for fractions, because fractions are a big deal. All right, so the idea now is I want to make all the three fractions blank over 18 plus something over 18 minus something over 18. How can we make the first fraction something over 18? So ask yourself, 2 times what will be 18? 2 times 9 is 18. So 2 times 9. Do the same on the top. I need to do 1 times 9, which is 9. So 1 half is the same as 9 over 18. For the second fraction, 9 times what will be 18? 9 times 2 will be 18. Do the same on the top. And we just need to figure out what's 8 times 2, which is 16. Third one, same. Notice that 3 times 6 will be 18. Multiply 2 and 6. 2 times 6, we get 12. And now you see that we change all these three fractions to three different fractions, but they all have the same denominator, and one half is equal to this uh, 9 over 18, and this fraction is equal to that fraction, this fraction is equal to that fraction. Okay? Now, to add or subtract, we're just going to do it from left to right. So, um, first of all, the denominator wouldn't change when you're adding or subtracting. So let me put that blank over 18 first. And let's keep track. 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 minus 12 is 13. And then take a look of my final result. So far, we have 13 over 18. Can we reduce that? Can we find a number that goes into 13 evenly and 18 evenly? And the answer to that is no. That's the answer. 13 over 18 will be the result of this monster equation. Uh, take a look at answer choices. That's answer choice 